Now, if you really want to see results, you can definitely double these workouts up on the days you have time for 40 minutes of movement and pair this with a healthy diet and a calorie deficit. If you need any guidance on nutrition, download my Afterbos ebook below where I talk you through calorie deficits and I give you some of my tastiest, healthiest recipes to guide you on your journey. You can get 20% off right now. As your coach, I'm going to push you and demand the best from you. So show up today, do your best on the mat, give me your all, but do not compare yourself to anyone else. Your journey is completely unique to you. Let's get it. If you're here, I'm assuming you're already warmed up. I'm satisfied timer. We're going to be starting in the next 15 seconds. Now, what I want you to do is to grab your dumbbell. We're going to be working for 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And our first movement is going to be an alternating lunge to press. So you're going to start feet width apart. You're going to lunge down, come up and press all the way up. Let's go. Alternating to the other leg. Up. Now, this is a strength conditioning workout. So while we want some speed, I want your main focus to be on your form. Press all the way up. Nice. We're working here for 45 seconds. For that lunge, I want you to make sure that your chest is upright. You're lunging all the way down, extending your knee as far as it will go. Remember, it's you against you. Amazing. Breathe, we have 15 seconds of rest and we're going to go into the next exercise, which is going to be a dumbbell swing switch. Now, if you're new to movement, you just have to practice and it will come as we go. You're going to hinge at the hip and switch. Let's go. Now, this is a hip hinge movement, not a squat. Okay? All the way down, chest up. I want pace here, a bit of speed, nice. Come on, let's go, we have five seconds left, push through, do not give up on me. Amazing. Breathe. 15 second break. Amazing. Our next exercise is going to be a sit up to twist. Remember, we're hitting our full body. So this is your core movement. Place your dumbbell up low. Sit all the way up and go to twist to the side. Now you can extend your knees here. So when you come up to that sit up, you're going to twist, twist. If you want to advance this movement, keep your leg up. I can't even bring up. All the way up. Up here. Switch. Switch. So you're going to bring it up. Leg up. Switch. 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 Amazing. Give me one more. And switch. Great job. With movement, always try to test my boundaries. See how strong I am, what more I can do, how much more I can push myself. Now you're going to stay in a plank position, okay? But going for one of my favorites, which is a renegade row. Okay, you have two options here. Knee on the mat, and you're going to roll one arm, one arm. If you're feeling that's very comfortable, you can go on your toes. Now the goal here is to just keep strict form, avoid your body swinging, as much as possible and really roll into the back okay you can bring it down as well completely up to you i want you to honor how your body feels today 
Let's go. Last five seconds. I want you to try. Come on your toes. Let's go. Give me two more here. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Woo! Amazing. My abs and my back are simultaneously on fire. That is what I love about compound movement. Okay. For my next weight movement, you're going to be only one weight. It's going to be a lateral squat into a knee drive. So you're going to squat to the side and drive up with your knee, keeping that core tight, and you're going to have a nice extension overhead. If the extension overhead is too much, you can drop the weight on your shoulder like this. Let's go. Give me some speed here. Come on, 10 seconds. Push that pace for me. Once your form is right, I want you to give me pace. Woo. One more. Come on. Yes. Great job. Breathe. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Amazing. Hinge at the hip. Throw up. What you might find is that one side is stronger or more stable than the other. That's completely fine. And that is why the more isolated moves we do like this, the more we can correct the imbalances in our body and our form. So keep going. I want to see a big smile on our face. I know we're pushing past the pain. Remember, we are stronger than anything we go through. This is what fitness really teaches you, that you can do it. Let's go. Amazing. All right. My heart rate at this point is through my roof. My roof, <laughs> through my chest. Okay, amazing. You're gonna grab both dumbbells and come into a squat thrust for me. So you're going to squat, extend all the way overhead. This is a great full body movement. For your squat, chest up, as deep as you can go, pace yourself. Come on. 10 seconds. Fight for it. <laughs> Listen. I'm in this with you, okay? Like I said, I have my goals, and I know you have your goals. So we're gonna push, because we're getting to where we need to get to. All right? Okay, grab those weights back for me. We're doing in and out squats. And squats. Woo! One thing about me, I love a good squat. There's such a great compound move. Going. That burn is going crazy right now. I know. But guess what? We have 10 seconds to hold it. Woo! That is my I love my music. That is my victory roar. Alright? You're gonna come down on your knees. We're gonna do an upper body variation here. All right, you're going to give me alternating bicep curls. The reason why I love to curl on my knees is so that my legs don't get involved. You're keeping that movement restricted to your upper body so you can really focus on moving the weight through your biceps. Ah. 
Amazing. Breathe through. Breathe through. All right. I'm on my 10th minute. So I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. I want jumping jacks from you without weight. Jumping jack into a squat hold. This is just to get the heart rate up because we're at halfway point. 30 seconds. If you need a modifier, then squat here. I understand that sometimes our body, our knees don't work the way we need them to work. So if you need to modify, modify. But please do not give up. Keep going. Five seconds. Woo! You're a boss ass. Woo! Okay. 15 seconds. And then we have a movement. There is no brain overwhelm. We're going for alternating lunges into a press. Let's go. So I keep pushing it wide. Hoping you'll survive my side. We can't get lost in time. Why don't you want to do it all again? Start going with it in my mind. Dancing with you. Stable through your knees. Your core is tight. Amazing. We're more than halfway there at this point. Keep going. Okay. The endorphins are starting to hit. What is my next movement? Okay, we're going into a swing switch. Alright, remember, hip hinge, switch. Come on, give me some pace here. Let's go. Okay, remember our set up twist? Remember those ones? They were a bit, you know, horrible. But we got this. Okay. Way over here. Come up. I'm going to try to do the advanced version. Nice. Come all the way up. Raise that leg. Great job. People have this misconception that we're supposed to be perfect when we work out and that we don't make mistakes. As a coach, let me be the first to tell you that working out is messy, okay? It's so messy. But you have to come every day, you have to show up, and you have to do your best. Even if you look silly, even if it feels like crap, even if you feel like you're messing up i don't want to use it. i don't see the swear word but you just have to show up okay it doesn't look perfect i do not know what we got this misconception but you have to just keep trying renegade words now let's go stay on those knees for me and in our last 15 seconds we're going up on our toes okay really nice tucking your elbows to your waist really targeting your back as we do <laughs> It's hard for me to talk. Okay, let's go. Come on, last 15 seconds. We're going to turn up the heat. All right, you ready? Let's go. And remember, stay stable. That's tough. 
what I was trying to tell you is it gets tough, it gets messy, but that doesn't stop you and should never stop you from showing up because you only get better by trying, okay? All right, my next movement, a lateral squat to drive. Amazing. For whatever reason, I have lost my music. Let's keep going. and I can see we only have five minutes, okay? At this point, I want you to thank yourself for showing up, for making it so far throughout this workout, okay? You're smashing it. I don't care what this looks like. This is day one, you're smashing it, okay? You're gonna come back to this workout at some point if you stick to it, and this is going to be a breeze. Same thing on the other side. I really wanted to set this challenge for myself as I know I've been slacking with my fitness. I've just had so much happening in my life. It's been such an emotional time for me the past six months. And sometimes fitness will not be your priority. I know it hasn't necessarily been mine, but I'm taking control of the game and I'm showing up for me. And I want you to do the same. Let's go, we have five seconds. Amazing. I'm so proud of you. I'm getting so emotional. I don't know why, but honestly, I really feel like we're doing this together and that just makes me feel so much stronger. Okay, what's left this? Let's go. Check straight and up. Ladies, if you know anyone, who needs to start their fitness journey. If you know anyone who needs a little bit of motivation, who needs a little bit of a push, please share this challenge with them. Let's do it together. We are stronger in numbers and we can absolutely do this, okay? Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Share with your friends. Come back, do this workout. I promise you, you're going to thank yourself for it. Keep pushing. Five seconds! Oh my god, oh my god. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, you're going to give me that in and out squat. Squat. We can also switch your dumbbell placement. This will target more your inner thighs, a little bit. Let's extend, squat. Fifteen seconds, my ladies. We're almost there. Five seconds. That burn is insane. I'm so proud of you. I swear I'm so proud of you. Kicking my ass. I'm not giving up. Neither are you. Amazing. Get on your knees. We're doing our biceps. Forward. And slide. Daylight, I can see behind me that the sun has almost set. And the way the sun has almost set is the same way we have only one more exercise in today's workout. Okay, 
grab your 15 minute rest, create some space on your mat, because we're ending with a bang. Yes, it's going to be burpees, but it's only 45 seconds, okay? And you can do this. What is a burpee? You're gonna jump back, chest down, and up, okay? That's how you're gonna do it with modified. If not, give me your full chest down, clap, all right? Remember, you can step one time with one leg if you need to modify. But, the last move of the day, I'm gonna need you to push yourself and give me what you came here for. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I'm so speechless. I'm unbelievably proud of you. That's it. That was day one. Well done. You smashed it. Please. Grab some water, do a cool down, all right? And I will see you tomorrow. Tell a friend to tell a friend, this is where it's at. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Let me know how you found this workout. <laughs> I just love you so much. Thank you.